In the cosmos, a killer is lurking in the shadows. I can't see it, but I can feel it, sucking me in. The black hole will rip you apart. You'll be a long, thin stream of atoms. The world as we know it would disappear. Within a day, the whole planet would have collapsed on itself. And the only thing that can have those properties is a supermassive black hole. For a long time, we thought that the death of a star was the only way a black hole could be formed. But now we know there's another way to form a black hole. You remember neutron stars? The super dense remnants of a star whose death wasn't quite dramatic enough to create a black hole. Objects the size of a city, but as heavy as the sun. While they tend to hang out in pairs that orbit each other, we call them binary neutron stars. In fact, we reckon there are one million binary neutron stars in our galaxy alone. But the stars can't keep orbiting each other forever. Over time, the gravity of the two stars pulls on each other, speeding them up, and they start to spiral closer and closer to each other. And eventually, they collide. Producing a colossal explosion called a kilonova. A kilonova explosion is so big that it shakes space itself, sending out distorting waves that ripple through the universe. And what becomes of the neutron stars after the collision? They disappear into a singularity, becoming a black hole. So there you have it. Two ways for a star to become a black hole. A supernova, or a kilonova. Now while supernovae happen in our galaxy every 50 years or so, kilonovae are much rarer, happening about every 50,000 years. But remember, the Milky Way is 13 billion years old. So that's plenty of time for millions of black holes to have formed in our galaxy alone, perhaps even hundreds of millions. For the most part, the universe appears to be pretty stable. When you look into the night sky, the stars seem to be static and unchanging. But that masks the reality. There are objects out there of terrifying power rogue black holes. Normally, black holes form as stars end their lives in colossal explosions, throwing out material and intense radiation into the universe, leaving a potentially dangerous black hole spinning where the star used to be. But it's safe because it's stuck in one place. That's not always the case. Every so often, the explosion isn't quite even on all sides, which sends the black hole barreling off into space at tremendous speeds. Runaway black holes. It sounds crazy, like science fiction. But recent evidence suggests they really do exist. In 2017, a Japanese radio telescope took an image of gas and dust left over from a supernova. What we're looking at here is a cloud of gas, much like any other you'd find in our galaxy. But what's amazing about this particular image is this streak coming down the middle here. It's been torn out of the cloud of gas by something moving through at some 60 miles every second. They call it the bullet. It's so destructive that the streak it's created is 11 trillion miles long, six times the size of the solar system. 
and it's thought to be one of many runaway black holes shooting across the universe. There could be one heading for Earth right now. What would happen if a black hole were hurtling towards Earth? The short answer would be gravity, a lot of gravity. As the black hole approaches, we're going to start to feel gravity in a very different way. And when it gets close enough into the inner solar system, that's when things are gonna kick into high gear. The gravitational pull of the black hole is going to create walls of water hundreds of feet high. Those will sweep inland and wash away cities. If you survive the tidal waves, you're in for a treat. When the black hole is about 7 million miles away, the gravity of the black hole pulling you toward it will balance the gravity of the Earth pulling you down. In other words, you'll be weightless for a few seconds until the black hole gets closer and then you're accelerated into it. The downside of this is that it puts a colossal strain on the Earth. There will be earthquakes everywhere wreaking havoc on city after city. volcanic activity will be constant, and then continents will be torn apart. If by some chance you happen to be standing where the Earth's surface used to be, you're going to start to feel the full power of the black hole's gravity. Your head is six feet closer to the black hole than your feet, and that means that your head is going to be pulled so much harder that the black hole will rip you apart. You'll be a long, thin stream of atoms as you fall toward the black hole past the point of no return. Well, that's the bad news. The good news is the chance of any of this happening is incredibly small. Space is vast and black holes are tiny. The odds of one getting close enough to the Earth to affect us are trillions and trillions to one against. I'm not worried about it. We're safe for now. Remember how black holes can also be created by killing OV? The explosions created by the collisions of neutron stars? Well, it turns out there are byproducts of these explosions that can be more dangerous and deadly than a black hole. They're called strangelets. To understand strangelets, you need to understand what's going on inside a neutron star. The physics here is mind-bending, almost impossible to comprehend. But one way to make sense of it is to think in terms of pasta. Inside a neutron star, the pressures become so intense that the protons and neutrons that usually repel each other start to touch. They meld together, squishing and squeezing until the nuclei deform and fuse into semispherical shapes. They look like gnocchi. So we call this the gnocchi layer. Near the center of the core of the neutron star, these nuclei are squeezed so hard that they then rearrange into long cylinders, like spaghetti. Nearer still to the core, the pressure is so extreme that the nuclei get squished into larger sheets, the lasagna layer. Now we're almost at the core. And this is where it gets seriously weird. Here, neutrons and protons break down into elementary particles, called quarks. All the different pasta layers dissolve into one kind of nuclear soup that we call strange matter. And it is well named, because it is truly strange. It eats everything it comes in contact with, turning it also into strange matter. This isn't much of a problem while the strange matter is locked away inside a neutron star. 
But when neutron stars collide and form explosions that produce black holes, this strange matter can be released in blobs known as strangelets. These blobs can travel through space with the power to break down everything they come across, turning all normal matter into strange matter. This could be the most dangerous substance in the universe. Strangelets. We astrophysicists have never seen them. And we don't really know if they exist. But if they do, they could be out there working their way through the universe to lethal effect. You see, strangelets could have this crazy superpower, the ability to infect all the other matter they touch, radically changing its properties. So what would happen to this, all this, if a strangelet moving through space were to hit the Earth? One theory is that when strangelets start interacting with matter here, it's going to trigger what physicists call a phase change. A phase change is when matter changes state. You know, like when liquid water freezes into ice, or when a solid, like this solid carbon dioxide dry ice, changes into vapor. So there's a theory that says a single strangelet passing through the Earth would trigger a phase change. All of the matter, the normal matter, on the Earth and in your body would flip, and it would become strange matter. The world as we know it would disappear. Within a day, the Earth will have collapsed on itself, leaving nothing but a super hot, super dense ball of mush about the size of a football field. So how likely is this scenario? Well, you know, in truth, we don't even really know if strangelets exist. But what they are is one theory, one possibility that exists in our exploration of matter at its most basic, most fundamental level. But if this possibility were true, well then, one day, all of us could be toast. In the cosmos, killers are on the loose. Stranger than any black hole. Within a day, the Earth will have collapsed on itself. Is this our destiny? Destroyed by strangelets? We still have so much to discover about black holes and the universe and their role within it. The closest black hole we've found is about a thousand light years from Earth, but there could be ones that are even closer. We expect there to be hundreds of millions of black holes in our galaxy. So yeah, they could be there. We're looking for them. Although we've learned a huge amount about black holes in the last few years, we'll almost certainly never know what truly lurks inside. And that's because the thing that we use to learn about the universe is light. That's what carries the information. And a black hole doesn't let light escape from it. Black holes really exist at the edge of what we understand as a species. They're a place where Einstein's theory of general relativity breaks down. So I would say the most important purpose black holes have right now is to help us get to a new realm of understanding the nature of the universe.